You want to get the essential mod in Minecraft 1.21.5? Let's do it. First things first, go to the second link in the description down below. That will take you here. This is Essentials Download page, and on this page, all you got to do is click on Download. You might need to keep or save this file. It's 100% safe to do that. This is the official download page of Essential. And a lot of downloading cabinets from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown to XYZ slash SGH to start a Minecraft server and easily play Minecraft with your friends. One of the main reasons you may be using the Essential mod is to play Minecraft with your friends. And honestly, it does allow you to play Minecraft with your friends in vanilla pretty easily, honestly. However, you're only going to be able to play with your friends when you're actively playing. Your world's not going to be up all the time with the Essential mod. At Simple Game Hosting, your server is online anytime that you want it to be online. Plus, you can play mods with your friends friends with one click installation of mod packs and all that stuff. There's no security risk like your friends being able to like see your IP address or anything like that. It is truly the quickest and easiest way to get a server set up and start playing Minecraft with your friends in just a few minutes. Plus there's expert live chat support there to help you out along the way should you run into any issues or anything like that. While Essentials is a great way to kind of get started playing with your friends if you want to have the best experience possible playing Minecraft with mods, without mods, all of that with your friends. Go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown dot XYZ slash SGH. Now, the essential mod downloaded we go ahead and minimize our browser and we want to move it to our desktop now we can see if we go to the downloads here we have this essentials installer once that's on your desktop just go ahead and double click on it the essential installer will then open now you may get a warning that this is going to open you're okay to go ahead and open it anyway it's what we call user account control it's just windows warning you hey we've never seen this program before and that's perfectly okay essentials is just a smaller mod so because of that it you know is it in the whole microsoft system all that stuff so you're going to go ahead and continue anyway to open this we can go ahead and click get started here if you want to select our launcher we're going to be using the minecraft launcher here and then we'll go ahead and do a new installation this is going to be fabric 1.21.5 because well it's the only way to get this currently forge isn't available so you can go ahead and click create and install essentials and now it's going to go ahead and do that make sure minecraft and the minecraft launcher are closed when doing this you also need to have played minecraft 1.21.5 before just open it to the main menu and close out of it other than this won't work but as you can see this is now installed we can close out of that and delete the essentials installer if we open up the minecraft launcher here the essential mod will be installed we'll be good to go we'll see that as soon as we get into the launcher because the essential profile selected in the bottom left 1.21.5 Fabric Essential. If we go to installations, right there it is. If it's not there, make sure modded is checked because if it's not checked, it's not going to be there. As soon as you check modded, there it is. Now I'm going to go ahead and change the resolution by clicking edit on this and changing the resolution there. That way we can see better once we get in game. But now we can go ahead and click play, click play again, and now Minecraft will open up with the Essential mod installed. It's that easy to get it up and running. And from here, you can actually add your friends, all of that stuff, invite them to your worlds. But again, very difficult to kind of do this with mods. And on top of that, it's only going to be up and running while your Minecraft's actively running. Plus, if you don't have a good computer, you actually may run into issues with your friends joining because you're kind of hosting a server locally in a way when you're doing this. And because of that, a lot of times lag can occur. We can instantly see this is active. Wow, I have... 67 friend request. That is actually crazy. We go ahead and go to single player here. We'll jump into this random world. And we can go ahead and uh, I got a feeling I might have a lot of friend requests prop up. We can go ahead and go to escape and invite a friend. This world will be hosted through your internet. Your host IP will be visible through network logs. And that's what I'm talking about. Anyone who gets the IP of this, all that stuff can figure out where you live. That's why it's not as secure as, for example, hosting a server on a host like Simple Game Hosting. But we can go ahead. We'll make this creative. That's fine. Click next. Click done. And we can go ahead and invite friends, all of that but they will be able to join. They will need the essential mod as well, so go ahead and send them this video, but we will see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.